with the SC35 Plus. Undo the water filler cap and fill with water. Tighten with fingertip pressure only. Do the same for the SC50 Plus and the SC60 Plus. SC45 Plus, lift the water filler lid and fill the header tank and close the lid. Refill this machine anytime as the filler is a header tank and you have a full boiler inside ready to go once the header tank has water. Now switch the steam cleaner on and wait 3 to 5 minutes for the water to heat. Heating time differs with the volume of water to heat. The green light will turn on when it's ready to use. When cleaning, allow the steam with the brush to loosen the dirt and the cloth to wipe it away. There's no need to push heavily on the brushes. Open the plastic flap in front of the steamers and push the steam hose in until the small plastic point is firmly in the small hole on the top of the steam hose. When changing tools and nozzles, watch the operator slide them together and click them in place. Ensure they are firmly in place before starting cleaning. Put the detail nozzle on the steam hose and add the brass brush. Then, add the small stainless steel scourer by just pushing it on. Turn the steam on and move up and down the oven racks, removing the grime and fat. You will develop a technique to get into the corners. Then, with the same brush and scourer, clean the inside of your oven, including the oven door and window. Wipe the fat and grime out with a toweling cloth as you complete each section to see what you have cleaned. Now you will have a really clean oven. Add the small plastic brush to the detail nozzle to clean around taps, removing dirt and lime scale. Use a cloth around the tap also to minimise any mess. You can use this in bathrooms and kitchens too. To sanitise and clean plug holes and sinks, look at the screen and work as shown. This will assist in eliminating smells and bacteria. Add the hand brush to the steam hose, taking particular notice how to do this using the adapter. Add a cloth to the brush as shown and move quickly over the surfaces, taking care at glued edges and on cupboards. Do the same to paintwork, but remember to work quickly and not to remove paint from the surface. Add a cloth over the detail nozzle and steam along the crevice and see the dirt removed to the cloth. Use the hand brush to remove soap scum from tiles and the shower screen. Work in a rotating motion and wash residues down the outlet using the shower taps. If there is very heavy soap residue, then spray with white vinegar half an hour before cleaning. This assists with cleaning and leaves a natural scent.
Use the detail nozzle and small plastic detail brush with or without the tubular extension pieces. Work along the grout at a 45 degree angle allowing the steam to remove the dirt and the brush to help push it along. Clean several tiles, then wipe away the dirty water from the floor and continue on until finished. Then add a cloth as shown and wipe the dirt and water from the tiles and continue until finished. The same for slate floors. Make sure you change the tiles often so the floor can dry in 30 or so seconds and the dirt is not spread. From then on your tiled surfaces will be quick and easy to clean using the floor brush and cloth. Always work quickly on glass to eliminate breakage. Then attach the window tool or squeegee, steaming the glass and wiping the steam off with the rubber wiper. To eliminate water runoff, place a towel at the bottom of the window to catch the water drops. This will save you time. Use the hand brush where your pets lay to remove pet hair and wash out under a cold tap to remove the hair. Use the detail nozzle close to the stain and work sideways using the steam pressure to blow the stain from the carpet into a towel in your other hand. Use the cloth to then blot the stain from the carpet. This is ideal for all types of stains that have not been chemically treated. To freshen carpets, attach the carpet slider to the large brush and move over the carpet with the steam. This opens up the carpet pile and facilitates easier, more effective vacuuming just 10 minutes later. There's no need to remove screens to clean them. Use the hand brush without the cloth to clean the screen and then add the cloth to wipe dirt and grime off. If stubborn difficult places are missed, use the hand spray nozzle to blow out the offending dirt. Remember, let the steam do most of the cleaning and use mild to light pressure only.
Use the hand brush with a cloth at all times using a rotating action to remove dirt and grime. Allow to dry. Always try in an inconspicuous area first as fabrics differ greatly. Use the detail nozzle held closely on the weed, moving it across the weed. Results are impressive and within a few days, most weeds are dead or dying. There are many other uses for your new Monster Steam Cleaner. Mag wheels on cars and motorbikes, inside dishwashers, small engines, fridge seals or to defrost freezers. To clean sneakers and running shoes, cleaning dog kennels and rest beds, to steam mattresses to kill dust mites and bugs, clean and sanitise wheelchairs, glass swimming pool surrounds, outside furniture and lots more. Remember to read your instruction booklet and watch this DVD again. Don't forget to show your friends and your neighbours your new Monster Steam Cleaner.